Hey friends, happy Camp NaNoWriMo. It is hot outside, like blistering heat. It sucks the life out of you, my Lanta. But um, yes, so it's Camp NaNoWriMo friends and it all begins today. I'm running around doing some errands that I need to do. And then um, I will be getting ready to kind of start breaking down where I left off on my story, get all that preparation done before Gwenna's first live stream tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So um, yeah, I always say that. So uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> I will keep you guys posted on all the things. Let's get ready for a live stream. That's it, and I am all ready for a live stream. Cheers, friends. On this lovely Camp NaNoWriMo launch day, we are waiting for Gwena the Winner's first video to go live, and then immediately after, we will be on her live stream. So this is very exciting. The suspense. This is pretty epic. Oh. So exciting. Oh my gosh. That was one hell of an intro. Here. Um, hi, is that better? Today I'm going to be recording two AuthorTube tag videos that I will post separately. I have the AuthorTube newbie tag as popularized years ago 
And then I also have the My Favorite Things tab that Ms. JC has forced my hand into doing. I just thought we were all waiting till after the video was done. But Inception. Okay. Just me, just me, just me. I've all been right. here. Has anyone heard from Leo? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I wasn't I saying that was anybody else being here. It was just me and Gwenna. <laughs> I, mean, I, feel, I feel cheated out of my, my Gwenna time. I feel cheated. I don't know if during any of those questions you need to take a pass. Cool. Mm, okay, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. It is day two of Camp Nano. Um, I woke up today and I'm feeling a little sluggish, but the day has just started. There's still a whole day left, obviously. And it's uh, Saturday, so things are a little more calm. Um, my first day of Nano, I started late, but I got 1,900 and six words not bad my daily goal is only 650 so i can get to 20,000 by the end of the month so this was a good start even though i am struggling with the story i'm kind of still trying to figure out what happens next and i'm just i'm in a place where i don't I, i'm just i know where things need to go i have ideas already this whole pantsing business, man, it's it's emotionally a roller coaster. Um, just struggling with the pantsing bit, but again, it's still the first draft, so I'm still discovering the story, and I need to have grace and patience with myself. Filled out my camp nanorimu, so just need six fifty a day, but I already started at a thousand nine hundred and six, so good start today Saturday tomorrow at 10 a.m. is writer town write a thon with Nia from Vixen of Fiction so I will be on her stream at 10 a.m. amazing like core readership like I've got rider dies who will follow me anywhere and have been readers of mine since more from you you don't Courtney need streaming. a web novel um you know my thing was well, what 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 can you do? Like, how can authors give back? I was doing well. I got up, I made coffee, I had breakfast. <laughs> the reason there's makeup on this face is because I did the thing you're not supposed to do, which is fall asleep with your makeup on. Yeah, I was too tired to take it off last night. So it's a mess on my face right now. But um, I was up and then... I see that Courtney's streaming and she was encouraging me to get words done and get some coffee. But then I slowly reclined and eventually I was laying down and now, and now I don't know how to get up. <laughs> it's Saturday, so I've got all the leisure time in the world to relax. So I'm not feeling pressured to get up and do anything yet. We'll see. Good. Morning. 
it is day three of Camp NaNoWriMo. I am awake. It's 8.30 or something in the morning on the Sunday because I'm going to be on Nina Vixen of Fiction's live stream, which is taking part in Michael C.B. Chen's Writer Town. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Garlosia. It's a Writer Town write a thon for 24 hours that started yesterday. And so today I'm going to be a part of the 10 a.m. live stream. So that's what's going on. I've got my coffee. I've got a little toast there. I've already put my face on. And yeah, just to give you guys an update on day two of Camp Nano. Day two of Camp Nano ended up being, see, it's not a bust. And I'll explain why. Because I'm going to my progress sheet here. So day one, my minimum was 650 words. Day two, I needed to get to 1,300 words. So day one, if you remember, I ended on 100, 1,000, I'm not awake. 1,906 words, which is why I didn't panic yesterday when I didn't end up writing. Why? Because one, I knew that I had enough words to cover day two, so I wasn't gonna panic about that. Luckily, day three, I need to be at 1,950 words, so I'm only like 40 something away from that. So I definitely plan on writing more than 40 something words by today. So I will pass that goal. I have my little happy plan in here. But um, yeah, yesterday was Saturday and I went to go visit my brother. Then when we got home, my mother really needed to kind of just decompress from the day. And so we actually decided to have dinner and some Netflix binging of a certain show. It was actually a uh, Life After Death with Tyler Henry. Um, we find him so fascinating. And so we found the documentary also extremely fascinating. And so we kind of got caught up on that and spent the night till like 1 30 in the morning finishing that series and so that's why i wasn't gonna get any words done yesterday because i had a lot of family stuff to take care of but it was okay because i knew that i had the allotted the amount of words necessary to complete for the next day so no biggie i'm about to go backstage in just a moment um i have my plot board right there so i can look at that is the mess you never see off camera. <laughs> yeah, but there's my plot board so I can look over at it while we're doing our sprints. And and here I am. This is me back backstage, about to be going backstage with everyone else in a second. I have my document here that I need to review because this is what I last wrote. That was what I wrote on day one of NaNo camp nano and now i usually don't touch it and i don't reread it the same day but now that i've had it over a day later i'm gonna reread whatever i last wrote to kind of get an idea where i was at in the story probably polish it a little because when you're just in the flow it becomes a mess and again i edit as i go a little bit so i need to kind of polish it up a little bit you know, just the basic mistakes to make me feel better. So I'll be going backstage in just a moment. So the stream is over and it's about brunch time. So I had myself a bit of a snack. The good thing was that as tired and delirious as we all were for the stream, I actually got some words done. I definitely passed my minimum goal, my daily word count goal. So I am can be at peace about moving forward and I don't feel this like constant pressure, like normally na the nano pressure, nano rhymo pressure that you get when you're freaking out to get your 1,667 words. I'm not feeling that right now, probably because my word minimum is 650. So my daily word count goal is not that much. So again, even though day two, I didn't do anything. I wrote today and I got now I have now a total of 2,776 words, 
which as you can see is even past what my daily goal count needs to be so i feel good i'm doing well stories coming along i'm still kind of struggling a little bit with it but i feel like i'm about to get through the hump where things are going to start flowing again so i'm really excited to get to that part i took a nap i needed it and so now i'm debating what the rest of my day is going to be it's almost dinner time it's about dinner time so i gotta figure out what i'm going to do on that front and then I also want to watch Becoming Elizabeth, that is on Stars, which is about Queen Elizabeth I and her teenage life before she became what we knew her to be, um, the Virgin Queen of the Golden Era. So I love period dramas like that, love it. So I'm a sucker for those. And yeah, I could get more words done. I am surpassed what my daily goal needs to be. But people are still streaming and I'm catching live streams. So debating what I'm going to do. Editing does right here. So the first part of my July 4th clip, video clips, got um, something happened to them. And they just aren't working. So... The first portion of that clip is completely gone. But for the most part, what I was saying was that it was July 4th, happy July 4th, and that it was a very leisure day that we weren't going to be doing much and that I was most likely not going to get any words down, but that I wasn't panicking about that because of where I left off the day before. And so the day before, looking at my word count, I had ended day three with um 2508 words total from the morning when it was at 8 eight fifty. i did end up writing again later that day and i think it was that evening and i got 2508 words as my total which had me which had me at 4455 words so i well past where I needed to be so I wasn't worrying because we were gonna relax make some burger sliders and fries and have a very leisure relaxed holiday so that is the gist of what I was saying in the beginning of the clip and then here's the rest of it if I don't get a word count in for the day I'm not gonna feel bad about it because again I am way ahead of where I need to be word count goal wise so that's Real, that's relieving so I don't have to feel this intense pressure on a holiday to need to catch up on word count so that's the update for the 4th of July tomorrow back to business as usual and there's a lot to do because there is a huge work event coming up and this weekend but today today's about relaxing so that's what I'm gonna do Happy Tuesday, friends. It is July 5th. Yes, right? I think so. And I'm here looking up Gwena the Winna's Vela Story Episode 1 that has gone live yesterday. So I'm really excited to read that. And then I was working earlier on some words. So I got so far for the day 987. 
So it is Tuesday, July 5th, like I said, and this is the day before the Camp Nano vlog goes live tomorrow at 10 a.m. I am looking rough today. <laughs> I have to wash this hair later. It's been a day. I work from home, so unless I really need to be on camera for some reason, which usually would be now, I get done up. But with these vlogs, it's kind of been like, it is what it is, you see what you get, and you see a little of every side of me, so. Today, I'm actually excited because it's barely midday and I've already gotten past my NaNoWriMo Camp Nano goal for the day, which is 650 words. So I'm happy about that and I, kind of expect to probably write a little bit more later, but I needed a bit of a break after that 900 and something words. What was it? 987 words that I got. So I'm gonna take a bit of a break. Um, I may make some leftover burger sliders that we had from yesterday for a late lunch. And then kind of see what else. I, there is some work things I still need to do. And then after that, hopefully I find some inspiration to continue writing and finishing up this scene. Actually, I'm hoping to finish up this chapter soon. So that will be very nice to get that done. I will get back to you guys soon on another little update before the day ends and before I end this vlog. Well friends, the day has progressed and I'm going to end the vlog here, but I just wanted to say where I ended up. So I haven't written more since I went and did the burgers and I ate them, they were delicious. I'm still at nine something, let me check. I'm at 987 words for the day. Um, it, it is still early enough that being that I'm a night writer, I may get more words done tonight. But for the sake of this vlog, I need to end it now so that I can edit it, do all the things and have it uploaded for tomorrow morning. Day five of Camp Nano has gone really well. Where I'm at overall is, so I'm back with the math. So as of right now, I'm at 5442 and my daily word count goal needed to be at a total of 3,250. So I am well over where I need to be for day five, which makes me excited. Again, my $20,000, no, that would be great. $20,000, I mean, by all means. But my 20,000, I was gonna say it again, word count goal is just an estimate of what it might take me to finish this first draft. So if I'm going over, for all I know, I may need more than 20,000 words. Might as well just keep going at the rate that I'm going in case I need to go over or not. Uh, another thing I wanted to bring up was the idea of changing your space. I was struggling while writing here at my desk 
and so today when I woke up and I got some work done and I did the things I needed to do and it was time that I got a break for writing I realized I needed a fresh space so I moved everything to the living room and at the dining table and that's where I sat down to work for the day the there's a balcony terrace right next to where the dining room table is so a lot of nice natural light was coming in and I was motivated and I got those 987 words. So sometimes you just need to switch your atmosphere around if you're feeling a little stuck and you know you can write more but you're just not, the things are just not moving. Maybe change your, your space, change your atmosphere, move. And you know, if going out to a coffee shop is still not feasible for you, like it's not, particularly feasible for me as someone who has someone with um, pulmonary issues at a hospital. Um, I decided to just change my space here at home and just picked a completely different area that refreshed my, my outlook on productivity and I was able to get some words done. So that's a little tip. If you're feeling a little stuck, try to change your space. Change if you can, if you have a laptop and you can go somewhere else to write. Um, preferably, some people like writing in bed. If it's still early in the day, try to find a different space so that you don't get too cozy. And you know, being in bed sometimes can make me a little lethargic so I didn't go for that space. I decided to completely leave the room and go elsewhere if you can. And if you need to, because there are other people in the house, put some headphones on so that you can create your own little atmospheric space there and get your work done. I hope you guys are doing great so far this Camp NaNoWriMo. Let me know how your first five days went. Where are you at? Are you doing Camp Nano? And if you are, how are you since day one to day five? This has been my update so far and I'm gonna keep updating you guys for the rest of the month via vlogs every Wednesday. I will keep documenting this journey for you. I wanna thank you because you're giving me the accountability I need to get this story written. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's video. All of my links are down below and I will see you guys very soon.